So what kind of uh, van is this? It's a 1988 <clears throat> Chevy G20. Okay. And how did you get it? How did you find it? Uh, I just uh, was looking at uh, ads in the paper, Craigslist, and and uh, I looked at many of them before I picked this one. So, let's see. You you uh, do you live in it full time? Yes, I do. My this is my 17th day. Okay, and you came from where? Uh, I was up in New York, uh, Central New York, uh, Rochester. All right. And um, mind giving us the tour? Uh, not at all. Um, we can start with, uh, uh, well, this is the entranceway. And uh, <clears throat> it can't, it was a conversion van when I bought it. So there was captain chairs in here and, and uh, tables and fold down bench and all. And uh, it had really ratty carpeting in it, it smelled. And, and uh, plus I like the, the customization part of this uh, van dwelling. And, so you uh, did all this? So I started with, uh, I just took everything out of here except the walls and the, the ceiling because I like the color. And, uh, and then I started by, uh, well the first thing I did was I laid down a new subfloor a uh, quarter inch plywood yeah and then uh, filled all the holes first uh, in the metal then the new subfloor and then this peel and stick kind of um, uh, flooring it's it's the laminated kind so you can you can um, you know mop it up and sweep it up and keep it clean and so forth right and then I went with um this just this furniture uh, th this used to be my mom's these end tables were my mom's and and uh, I, I, I use that, well as you can see, I use it for my water jugs and keep books and weird stuff like that. And, and then some of the parts that were hanging in the back of the van here, there used to be um, some kind of a cooler kind of a thing hanging. Yeah. And so I, I, I took that down and screwed them to the sides of this, uh, this thing here. And that, that, uh, this piece here, I can show you. Okay. These pieces here were were hanging in the back of the van, and this piece here was hanging in between, which is nothing, which was the cooler. Oh wow! I, I use it for a little storage area. So this was made to have a cooler from the factory. Yeah, and it was hanging right there. Oh wow! Yeah, see, it was see you can see where the boards were, and it hung there in the middle. And you sat on that bench seat, and you turn around, and you grab a beer or whatever your favorite cold drink. <laughs> and um, <clears throat> so I took all that all out of there because I needed to build a bed, and <clears throat> it was in my way. <clears throat> Pardon me. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm still getting used to the dust. And um, <clears throat> so. The, the walls that were hanging there, you know, they, they were like wings. And that's what I did. I, I screwed them to the side of this board. And then on the back side of that cooler was this, was this. And I just bolted it here. And <laughs> I keep all my groceries and my food and, and stuff. These right here, I just put another shelf up there that you can get like at Walmart. And these are um, towel racks. Okay. That, uh, that I use to keep stuff up there, and and then of course I got I've got um, you know rubber gizmotron things to hold it up there. The storage I keep my dishes and silverware and stuff in there. Mm -hmm. And then if you want to step inside, this here I I use for storage. It fits up underneath there, but when I wanna, I can just pull it out and sit down and look at the moon coming through the windows up there <laughs> that's pretty cool so yeah so it's kind of a neat little relaxation kind of a thing you took your seat out yep i'll get to that part when i finish this uh-huh okay so i use these cabinets and i keep my um two propane tanks in there okay and you can probably tell you see them running out the back here one for my burner and the other is a 12-foot hose so i can hook it up to 
a barbecue grill or whatever outside. And this is another storage area. I keep my medicine and laundry stuff in there. And this is my little work area. And, you know, I can cut up meat and shit like that over here. And, and uh, my little two burner stove. And, you know, we go to town. We do stuff right here. Awesome. Can we take a peek from the back? <laughs> sure can. Alright. Wanna look at the back? Yeah. Okay. Yep. And so in the back here, you can see the construction is just two by four, sitting on two by sixes over the wheel well. <clears throat> it gives me enough room to store stuff. And then um, I, I recently added this shelf uh, with hinges, so if I had to, I could fold it up. But the whole idea <clears throat> behind that The whole idea behind that was so when I'm traveling, my table folds up, fits right there, and away I go. I keep my tools. Um, jacks, I keep my tools and and uh, so forth in, in these uh, <clears throat> plastic boxes and so forth and I, so huh. hi Joyce uh, and um, so that's why I put that shelf in there uh, because I was wasting this space over here so I just put some foam memory foam in there and made my bed a little bit bigger so I can stretch out and, gotcha yeah and um, that's pretty much it, other than the cab area. I can show you the cab area. <clears throat> Probably be better on the other side. When you're done. This, uh, there's a, it's a 305. Okay. Uh, fuel injection, 55 miles an hour, I get about 15 miles to the gallon Anything faster I get about 11 Okay, but it works for me, but if you want to get over on the driver's okay. side This used to be all carpeted there was big captain chairs in here. They're big and bulky and heavy So I took them out went to a junkyard and found an old stock cargo van and took the seat the pedestal and the the flooring, the rubber flooring, and and replace the the carpeting and everything in here. Kind of and using the using these curtains, I separate the cab. I mean, this is the driving area. Right. You know, I don't need to be relaxed. I want something where I can sweep out all the dirt and mud and what have you. You know, keep it clean and so forth. And I took the radio out because it didn't work, and put a set of gauges in here. So now I got oil pressure I can monitor oil pressure you installed and, those yourself yeah I did oil pressure uh, voltage and uh, water temperature and um, so yeah it's uh, it, it suits me fine it works just great I love it I love it absolutely love it so do you have any kind of website or you any kind of uh, Facebook or anything uh, yeah I'm on Facebook um, Kind of thing. Just look up Michael Brown, I guess. On Facebook. Yeah. Would Would you want people to look up if they needed any mechanical work? Yeah. Would you? Is that something you're interested in? Sure. Or no? Yeah, that might work. But I'm telling you now, I'm going to pick and choose because I'm on vacation. I'm retired. <laughs> You've got a, a extensive background in mechanical. Yeah, yeah. But um, I can understand what a, what it, how frustrating it must be. You're out in the middle of the desert and your van won't start. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't mind. Give me a call. But I'm going to tell you, I'm going to pick and choose. <laughs> right on. That sounds awesome. Yeah. All right, so is that it? Uh, yeah. It's, uh, I don't know what else you might want to know. I think that that's it. Thank you very much for showing us your van. Sure thing, buddy.